Hello, Matt Movie Lovers. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Can you believe my dad got me a BMW for Christmas? I told him I wanted a Mercedes. Jen, you're so bad. I mean, he could have gotten you nothing, Jen. Didn't he just get you a new car? Yeah, but it was on a color I didn't like. Merry Christmas Eve, ladies. What can I get you tonight? You can start by getting me some clean silverware. Oh, okay. I am so sorry. I'll take care of that right Ew. away. Don't put your nasty fingers on my silverware. I don't know where your filthy hands have been. Jen. What? I don't know where her hands have been. Oh, and we'll take water with lemon. Okay, sure. Guys. She's handling our food. And? See, this is why I don't like socializing with commoners. They always want to make you feel sorry for them. Okay, here we go. Water with lemon, clean silverware. And what are you ladies ordering tonight? This water isn't cold enough. Oh my God, lady. Can you not hear or are you just that dumb? We want to talk to a manager. Sophia, Jen, it's really not that serious. Excuse me? Can you get a manager, please? Hi, I'm the manager. How can I help you ladies? This server here has been very difficult to work with. She's very incompetent. She should be fired. That's, that's not true. I've done everything that you girls have asked of me. It's really not necessary. Shut up, Erica. We want her fired. Or I'm gonna tell my father about how poor this restaurant is and how incompetent your workers are. I mean, do you even train these people? Well, ma'am, I can assure you, you are looking at some of the best waiters in the state of North Carolina. We are a five-star restaurant and have been great since 1965. Thanks, Wikipedia. But your server here says the opposite. We may as well have picked a burger joint. Might I offer you a Christmas wine on the house? Fine, but my father is Mark Clayton. The owner of the newspapers in this city will tear your business apart if I have to deal with this again. Off you go. Oh, Carlton, you can't fire me. It's Christmas Eve. I need that money. You know I've got custody of my grandkids. Don't worry, Gina, I'm not going to fire you. Look. We deal with this all the time. Why don't you wash up? I can take over, okay? You just go home to see your grandkids, okay? Thanks, Carl. Absolutely. You know, I gotta tell you, I don't know what I'm going home for. It's not like there's gonna be any gifts for them to open tomorrow. You know I would if I could, oh, I just- Oh, no, I know, I know. It's, it's hard out there for everyone. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Carl. You know, guys, I'm not even hungry anymore. Let's just go. Guys, I'm starving. Erica, we'll get something on the way to the Christmas party. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you should be at the restaurant they said was five stars. What? Jeffrey, just wait till I tell Daddy you're late. You should have left an hour ago. The driver is late. Oh my god. You should have waited inside. Give me all of your money. <gasps> now put your purses on the ground. Please don't hurt us. We'll, we'll do whatever you say. Just shut up and turn around. Look, my dad's a judge. He can get you all the money you want. I said shut up. Now everybody turn around and nobody gets hurt. Now back up into my car. Now! Back up into my car. Back straight up, now! Oh my gosh, girls, are you okay? Oh my god. I was over there, I was having a cigarette, and I saw him approach you. Oh my god, thank you. You saved our life. Thank you so much. Oh, listen, one of you guys better call the police before he comes too. Oh, okay.
You guys okay? I called the police. I saw what happened. I'm on, I'm on the phone with the police. Are you guys okay? Can, can someone call my dad? He yes. came out of nowhere. My God, I'm so sorry. He just bent into the car. Girl. Santa here yet? Uh, no, um, not yet. Girls, you know I love you, right? Right, us grandma. Well, um, this year uh, we might not be getting any gifts. Why not? Does Santa forget about us? We'll promise we'll be good. Oh, no, 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 it's not you. Um, it's just uh, grandma's having some problems right now. But you know, as long as we're together, we will make the best of it. Well, maybe God has a miracle for us, Grandma. Oh. Okay, all right. Let's go back to sleep, okay? Miss Gina. Oh, hi. You're the girls from the restaurant. We hope you don't mind. Um, your manager told us where you'd be. Hi, I'm Mark. Oh. I wanted to thank you for saving my daughter and her friends. Oh, it's no problem at all. No, ma'am. If it wasn't for you, they would have killed my kid. Her friends oh. would have died. We apologize for everything and the way that we treated you. We wanted to do something nice for you. Well, I just did what anybody would have done. Please, just let us do this. Bring it up, guys. We got some friends from your job to help us out. Girls, come quick! Merry Christmas. I don't know what to say. I would like to offer you a job in my company. It's $30 an hour plus benefits. It's the least I can do. I say, I say yes. Grandma, it's snowing. <sighs> The lesson in this story is to never belittle anyone. Always do good when it's in your power to do so. Walk into Christmas this year expecting great things. Hello, Matt Movie lovers. Love everyone this Christmas. And don't forget to keep the faith. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.